Hello, it's Natasha. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're doing a fun sequencing power yoga class. Go ahead and get right on the knees, sitting in a kneeling position. Feel free to pull out your pinky toes and draw your heels towards one another, grounding into your toes and knees, feeling that deep stretch on the feet. It's pretty intense. If you need to release it, go for it. Otherwise, hang in and take some nice deep breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. A couple rounds of breath on your own pace, trying to elongate the breath, ground into your space, let go of any distractions, any expectations, any judgment or stress. It's you and your mat for the next 45 minutes. You can release the feet here now and just sit on the top of the feet, stretching through the neck, some nice neck rolls, heavy shoulders away from the ears. Inhale the arms over the head and exhale, push down through the palms behind the back. If you can interlace, go ahead and grab onto the hands, squeeze shoulder blades back and maybe dip into a gentle back bend. Retract and squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another and see if you can lift the arms away from the back, then swing them out and crisscross. Any organic movements for the shoulders, some circles here. Elevation, lift the arms over the head, squeeze the arms up. And then stretch the arms behind the back, open the chest, squeeze the triceps. Inhale, arms over the head. And exhale, behind the back. Squeeze and reach behind you. Now twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Pull the arms in opposition. Reach back. Gentle diagonal back bend, starting to press your hips up and down. Forward pelvic tilt and back. Lift and squeeze, a low twisting camel. Side bend to your left. The right arm is going to floss up and down over the head like you're framing it. And then up and down with the elbow trunk rotation. Other way, twist, left arm forward, right arm back, pull the arms apart. Tilt back, diagonal, send the heart forward, reach the arm back, and then start to lift the hips away from the heels if you can. Feel that deep quad and hip flexor stretch. Lift and lower. Send your hand over to the right hip, side bend lateral. You can bend that elbow and then floss that shoulder, bending, reaching over the head and back, and then elbow up and down, rotating shoulders to stack and twisting down. And come on back, flex and point the fingers. Really activate those forearms and wrists, flex and point, and then big blinks, open, close the palms. Start to get a little faster and faster. You might tuck those toes under again. Elevate the arms, continue to flick like you're flicking water off. Take a camel right hand towards right heel. If your toes are tucked, it might be a little more accessible. Press the hips forward and reach the heart up. Switch sides, left hand to left heel. Reach at that diagonal camel back bend, heart up, hips forward. Cartwheel the hands forward into tabletop. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, moving in through some cat cow. Round and exhale, inhale, lift head, chest, and tailbone. Neutral spine, lift the knees, hover here. Maybe a little bounce. Start to gently straighten the knees, downward facing dog. Bend the knees and hover. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, table hover. Exhale, downward facing dog, chest towards toes. One more, hover and press back. This time landing the knees for knees, chest, chin. Dip the elbows back by the ribs. Now lift and press back to down dog. Rolling forward through the knees. 
knees, chest, chin, heart and gaze forward, maybe lay your heart down, then press back through downward facing dog. Again, roll forward, knees land, knees, chest, chin, maybe melting chest and chin actually on the floor, then pressing on up, downward facing dog. This time we're gonna land on the knees and hold your knees, chest, chin. Little puppy pose. Can you slide your hands back by your knees? Only do this if it feels comfortable. Deep thoracic and cervical spine stretch. Release the tops of the feet and then unfurl yourself onto your belly. Fingers wide, cobra rolls. Press the mat away, lift the heart. Exhale, head down last. Inhale, head up last. Move organically. Bring your right knee out to the side like a half frog pose and lift back through that cobra back bend. Lower down and see if you can lift without the help of your hands, possibly binding the arms behind the back and really squeezing. Come down through Sphinx, keeping that knee out to the side. Now thread the left arm under and start to lift that right arm over the head. Possibly just making an L to start and then allow that arm to completely release back behind you. So now you're in a spinal twist. The knee can lift off the mat, dropping into both shoulders, turning your gaze away from the knee, as you start to come back, we're gonna press that right hand into the mat by the chest, untangle the left hand, and then the right knee peels up and over, scorpion flip. See if you can lean forward and lift into Skandasana. Come right back around. You can draw that left foot behind you and then the right foot comes back. Side by side, moving through a cobra to an upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower back down into tabletop. We're gonna take some little hip swivels. Lift your right hip as you open the knee and circle the right shoulder. Now swivel, left hip opens, left arm circles. Stepping on the right foot, open up, circle the arm, stepping on the left. Now lift the knees in plank and dip your hips to the left, right arm lifts, dip your hips to the right, left arm lifts, these little side plank squats, dipping and lifting from side to side. Try that again, swivel, right hip opens. This time we'll lift and side bend to the back of the mat, come on back to all fours. Spin your hip open, lift into kneeling, side bend to the back of your mat, spin back around. So you're kind of opening the feet and knees and hips, lift side stretch. All fours, come down, open the hips, step on the foot side, stretch to the back of the mat. Come on down for those lifted side plank squats. Tuck your toes, dip hips left. Add a chaturanga push-up. Dip hips to the right, left elbow up. Chaturanga, elbows back or knees, chest, chin. Side plank hip dip, chaturanga, and that little hip dip. Chaturanga, all the way down, locust. Can we squeeze that posterior chain and lift and fly? Big breath in and out. Now left knee outside the hip for those half frog cobra rolls. Lift and push the mat forward. Lift, see if you can do the back bend without the help of your hands, possibly binding the hands behind the back, squeeze those shoulder blades, and then lower into forearms for sphinx, keeping that left knee out. Thread the right arm under and then rotate so you're stacking the shoulders and just starting the twist, breathing into it, and then you can start to reach the arm back even further, possibly lifting the knee off the mat to, to draw the shoulders down and breathing into that twist. As you come out of it, slowly stack the shoulders again. Press the left hand by the left side body and untangle. Now scorpion flip your left knee over to the right, Skandasana. Lift if you can, sit 
and spin back around. Continue that. Scorpion flip, right knee up and over, peel up, lean forward, Skandasana. Now side to side lunge. Sit, left foot back to the back of the mat, unroll yourself. Left knee up and over, lean forward to lift your butt, if you can, side to side Skandasana. We're gonna add on to this. Sit, flip back over. Right knee peels up, scorpion flip. Skandasana on the right knee, then shift to the left. Now drop the left hand down, kick the left foot through, kick through. Come back, lunge left, lunge right, sit and roll back home. Does that make sense? Practice. Left knee flips over, Skandasana on the left foot, to the right, kick through. You're kicking the right foot through, putting the right hand down. Skandasana right to left, sit and roll back. Try it again. Flip that right knee up and over, Skandasana. Reach the arms and shoulders forward to lift off the butt side. Kick through on the second side. Step back, lunge left, lunge right, sit and roll home. Left knee peels open, Skandasana to the left, to the right, right hand down, kick through right foot. Step back, lunge right, lunge left, sit and roll back home. You did it. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe. You can always hit pause if you want to practice that little mobility flow. Otherwise, let's move on. Right leg is going to lift nice and high. Knee to nose, tuck for three. Send it back. Exhale, really tight tuck, knee to nose, round the spine, lift. This time, as you tuck forward, we're going to drop the knee in between the thumbs and do this kneeling balance. Back knee lowers, lift the shoulders and balance. Spine the hands behind the back. It might help to tuck your back toes under. Heart to sky. And carefully release. We're going to step the left foot forward and sit into a kneeling position. Rock the left knee over the left toes, stretching the Achilles tendon, that back of the ankle. Lifting up through standing. Lean forward, rock it, and then lift into one-legged Tadasana, lifting the right knee into the chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. Lift the heart. Send the leg out to the side. Lateral fire hydrant, maybe a toe grab. You can press your left hand above your knee. See if you can hold the leg there. And then wrap it around for eagle pose. Wrap the right leg over and the right arm swings under. You can go for the double wrap or just let those toes touch down. Lift the elbows, tuck the tailbone. Now reach the right leg around for warrior one. Step back, hips forward, elbows high. Ground into the heel, release the arms. Now bind behind the back, gentle back bend in that warrior one. Halfway fold, think of a half pyramid. The arms start to reach up off the back. You might hop in just a touch. Long neck and spine, reach your arms over the head, making this a longer lever, a little bit more for the core, then windmill your left hand down, right arm up, trikonasana, triangle pose. Adjust if you need to, pull the arms in opposition. Pull both arms towards the front foot and start to shift into your back knee, opening the toes, Skandasana with that side stretch. Pull your hips back. Now drop your head in. Keep reaching your fingers forward. Now crawl your hands to the back of the mat and twist your lunge, lifting your heel up and back. Exalt your lunge. Lift the left arm. Reach for the back of the leg with the right arm. Exalted twisting lunge. Back bend. And cartwheel your hand and knee to the ground. Left hand down, kick the right foot to the front of the mat. Kickstand your left foot out. 
reach into a side stretch and drop your right foot, hands behind your head. We're doing these kneeling side bend crunches, dipping over the open end, over your left to the back of your mat, dipping and squeezing the obliques to lift. Swivel your left hand towards your heel and take a gentle back bend. The right foot still reaching for the front of the mat. Maybe your left hand to the small of the back, right hand behind the head. You now take your right foot down and reach into a kneeling side angle pose. Right shoulder to inside of right knee. We're gonna lift the back knee off the mat. You're gonna kind of have to hop it up there. Now you're in side angle pose. From side angle, half moon. Tilt forward, maybe some momentum. Pull the arms in opposition. You might try to reach your bottom right hand to your heart center, balancing this half moon. And rotating down into a standing split. Kick those left toes to sky. Breathe. We're going to lower into the kneeling position we started in and continue with the standing split charge. So kneel and charge. Head down, leg up. Just go with what it feels like. Lift and lower. Charge that leg energetically towards sky. You can continue with those or you can start to add maybe some little jumping into an L or a charger leg handstand. You could try a few little jumps, pushing the shoulders down, spreading those fingers. Your fingers are your brakes. Strong shoulders, strong core. And coming back to that kneeling position. This time, tuck your back toe under. And we're gonna try to lift into a pistol squat. You can go back and forth there from that kneeling position to a pistol squat, or you could try to lift your pistol squat to standing and back down if that's in your practice. Rock yourself forward. Bring your hands to the mat. Lower onto your elbows, kick the right foot back, dolphin. We're gonna bend the knees, tap right toes to left heel, and lift, three. Tap and bend, shoulders are strong, elbows are under shoulders, and then maybe some little dolphin pincha jumps. So you could try to jump, click your legs up and down. Those right toes are going to the sky, lift, could be little small hops or maybe you catch a hold in pincha. Meet me in a forearm plank. Tuck your tailbone, squeeze the abdominals. Nice deep breath in, fight for the hold. And lower, bow pose. Outside grip on the top of the feet, bend those knees, pull them in. On your next inhale, charge up to your bow. Heart up, let the feet kick back. And then go ahead and press yourself back into a child's pose. Feel free to explore your bow pose a little more or just rest here, releasing that spine, connecting to the breath. You might wanna hit pause here if you need a little bit of extra time. Otherwise, we're gonna get back into the flow on the other side. Press into downward facing dog. We'll do a little vinyasa sequence here. Roll yourself into a plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sweep the left foot nice and high. Down dog split to those three knee tucks. Tuck the knee, shift forward, strong shoulders, press down, three, Tuck, shin high above the earth and press away. This time, nice deep tuck. Bring the knee in between the thumbs and you have that balance, both knees lower. Lift the shoulders over the hips. Bind the hands behind the back. You can tuck those right toes under. Chest expansion, only drop the head back if it feels good. Reach those arms back. Balance by shifting the shoulders forward and see if you can step onto the right foot. Pull that heel in nice and close and let the knee go over the toes. Feel the Achilles tendon. Stretch into that 
back of the heel, the ankles. Balancing to rise, lift and pull the left knee into the chest. Grab the shin, bicep strength. Pull, now see if you can hold it on your own. Send the leg out to the side for fire hydrant. Maybe grabbing onto those left toes, right hand can rest on the right quad. Release it, left foot's gonna swing all the way around the right leg for Eagle Garudasana. left hand swings under. Maybe you get that double toe wrap. Pull the elbows up and away from the shoulders. Tuck the tailbone and sit into your chair. Sweep the left leg back, stepping back for warrior one. Draw the left hip forward, lift the elbows. Ground into the pinky toes. Now reach the arms behind the back with a chest expansion in your warrior one. Gentle back bend and release. Halfway fold, you might hop in a touch. Think of a halfway folded pyramid. Lift the arms away from the back if you can, and then we'll reach the arms over the head, balancing and holding with your core to maintain that flat back. Drop the right hand, lift the left arm, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Now your hips are open. Try to peel your left hip on top of your right by tucking the pelvis. Swing the left hand around. Now both fingers reach forward as you bend the left knee. Turn the toes out a bit. Think Skandasana, pulling away, bending. Release the head through the arms. Now swing your body to the back of the mat as you lift the heel up, twisting lunge. Stack your shoulders. We're gonna lift this up, exalt your twist. Reach the left arm back, right arm up into a gentle back bend. Exalt your lunge, heart to sky. Cartwheel down, lower the right hand and the knee, and then kick the left foot forward. You're in a kneeling side plank with abduction, left toes to the front of your mat. Lower your left toes and reach your arm over your head. Both hands behind the head. We're dipping off to the back side of your mat towards your right. Dip and squeeze to lift. Dip down, squeeze. Sweep around to the back heel. See if you can find a camel pose or you can bring your hand to the small of the back. We're gonna step on that left foot, open it out and side angle stretch in kneeling position. You can start to widen your knees for a nice groin stretch. Now lift off of the knee by tucking your toes and kind of hopping up into side angle pose. Readjust, stack your shoulders. Shifting forward for half moon. You can kind of charge into it, pull the arms in opposition. Now maybe float your bottom hand to your heart center. Flex those toes, stacking shoulders, ribs, and hips. From here, standing split, drop your shoulders and head and kick those right toes to sky. So play around here. We're gonna come into the kneeling position, bend the right knee, sit back on the heel, and then charge into the standing split. So we're lifting our head and shoulders, and then we're charging our head down, kicking our right toes to sky. Do that a few times, and then you can either continue with it or start to jump on the hands. Spread your fingers, bend and hop. We're only jumping off the bottom toes. We're not kicking up the top leg. Just think of top toes to sky. Bottom knee can hug into the chest, push the shoulders, make a hole through that floor with strong hands, and then come to kneeling. This time, tuck your right toes under so we can try to lift our knees and shift back into pistol squat. Rock forward and back. Or maybe you try actually standing in your pistol squat, take some strong legs and core and some mobility in those ankles. See how you do. 
lower back down, rock forward, shift your right knee back, bring your hands to the mat. Now lower to the forearms, dolphin, left leg swings up. Dolphin, we're gonna take those knee tucks. So you'll take your left knee to your right heel, tuck, bend, and straighten. Bend, both knees bend and straighten. Left toes to right heel, bend and straighten. Now we'll try those little jumps. You can try to jump and click the feet together. You could hold an L. If you have pincha in your practice, you can go right for a hold and make some shapes possibly. See what you got left in the tank. No, it's a lot on the shoulders. Do the best you can. Continue to explore or meet me in forearm plank. Walk those feet back, tuck the pelvis, strong shoulders, firm the quads, and then lower down. We have bow pose again. Hug the heels in, reach for the outside tops of the feet. Retract those shoulder blades and squeeze. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and lower. Upward facing dog to child's pose. Release the spine. Feel free to stay a while or we're going to work on some jumping tucks, possibly landing or working on landing in crow pose. Bounce the hips back. Spread your fingers and practice getting those knees to the chest, activating the shoulders Work on catching the hold, and if you get the hold with the tuck position, maybe try to pull those knees onto the back of the arms. Strong shoulders, you want a light landing there. Be sure to stretch the wrists after. Anytime you're on the hands with all your weight, it can be intense. You can wrap your hands under your knees, and then find me in Malasana. Left shoulder to inside of left knee, right arm up. Either side stretch or take a bind in your malasana. And the other way, right shoulder to inside of right knee. Let the left arm open. Either wrapping your hands outside into a bind or just left arm stays lifted. Come on back. We're going to take a halfway fold. And you could try a crow pose or a crow pose to jump back through vinyasa. Push the shoulders down, lift the hips, jump those feet back, heart and gaze forward, up dog to downward facing dog. One more chance to jump forward and catch that crow pose or just jump your feet forward. And again, be sure to stretch out those wrists. You can counter stretch, circle them, or again, sit on the back of the arms. Moving into Bird of Paradise, reach your hips up to a forward fold. Wrap your right arm underneath your right leg. Left arm behind the back. See if you can bind your fingers. Start to shift your weight into your left leg and then lift your shoulders. Feel free to keep the right knee bent or work on that extension. Bend the knee, reach the shoulders forward, unhook your grip, drop your right arm, hand on your left quad, reach your left arm back for your right top of foot. Think of a reversed grip dancer, pressing into your quad, heart forward, kick into your hand. Left shoulder gets a stretch, right hip flexor quad. Carefully release into warrior three. Lower the right toes and heel, reverse warrior cartwheel back. Cartwheel forward, right hand down, twisting lunge, but slip that left foot right into side plank. Any shapes in side plank, you can lift the knee, you can stretch up. We're rotating the left knee onto the mat. Turn your hips and belly towards the mat. Tiger pose, again, grabbing the outside top of the right foot, left shoulder, right hip flexor quad. So basically like a kneeling dancer, just like the standing one. Now slide that right foot through for a half split Ardo Hanumanasana or full splits. 
Listen to your body here. Never force yourself into the shape. Take some nice deep breaths. And then we'll slowly start to come out of that. Push your shoulders down. Slide your knees to meet. Back to child's pose. We have the sequence on the other side. Stretch your fingers out long in front of you. We're going to try to snake through up dog. Gaze forward, slither down on your mat, face, neck, chest. Pull your heart forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Jump, handstand, or float to the top of your mat. Meet me in Malasana, jumping outside your hands. Forward fold, drop your head heavy. You can wrap your hands around the back of the legs. Maybe a little prayer pose around the back of the knees. And now your left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Wrap your right arm around the back. See if your fingers can meet. Start to lift by pressing into the right foot. Lift and maybe extend or keep that bent knee. Drop your shoulder forward, right Left hand on right quad, right hand reaches back for left top of the foot. We're in a little reverse grip dancer. Press down into your thigh and kick those toes up. Release into warrior three. Bring your toes down, cartwheel back, reverse warrior. Cartwheel forward, left hand spins to the mat, and then that right foot kicks out into side plank. We're going to drop the right knee onto the floor. So start to tuck the knee in, rotate the belly down, land gently. Same grip, right hand reaches for the outside top of the left foot and kick into the hand, charge the heart forward. From tiger pose, see if you can bend the knee and walk that foot through or slide it forward to half split. Feel free to stay in your half split or maybe you're using a block or go for that full split if that's in your practice. We'll be here, so take some breaths, make some shapes. This time as you come out of it, we're going to slide the right foot around, staff pose, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, circle the arms and fingers backwards, lift the hips up to reverse plank. Walk onto the feet, reverse tabletop. Lower into seated and find me in Navasana, boat pose. We got some abs here, hands behind the head. We have a twist and an extension. Elbow to knee, reach up. Elbow knee, extend. Twist and reach. Twist and reach. Now, same thing, but reach one arm back. Instead of elbow to knee, we're twisting arm forward, arm back lower into low boat. We're going to rock our boat side to side. You get a nice sacrum massage, but still isometric hold on the abdominals, shoulder blades off the mat. Now start to tuck and roll side to side using your forearm to press and curl. Rock, turn, crunch. Reach out through the forearm, crunch, make a tight ball and rotate to the other side. Tuck. Now extend the feet, lift the hips into a side plank on the forearm. Come back, do that to the other side. One tuck. Extend the legs, lift the hips, forearm side plank. Go ahead and release it onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a little squeeze. 
Happy baby, outside reach on the top of the feet, hug the knees in, and maybe you rock it or you find some steady breathing and space. You can also take a gentle straddle, opening and closing the feet. So this is really Yogi's Choice time to explore shapes. We can work on a bridge pose, grabbing onto ankles or heels or binding the hands under the back, lifting the hips. Feel free to keep your bridge or if you'd like to try wheel pose, possibly coming onto the hands. Always listening to the body. Really, this is all what feels good for you. If you are ready to stretch and just stay down with some nice twists or if you're doing something bigger like handstands, plow pose, shoulder stand, all choices here. Go ahead and explore and play. When you are done exploring shapes, be sure to take some time for Shavasana. Whether that's traditional corpse pose or something more restorative where you'd like to set up some blankets and bolsters and blocks, find a pose that's going to serve you best at this moment. After all that movement, all the directions, all the brain power and muscles and stretching, it's time to let go. Allowing your body time to rest, to repair, and restore that energy we used. Scan the body from head to toe. Focusing in on your face, your forehead, your eyebrows, your jaw, your tongue. Allow the lips to naturally part. Take the tongue on the back of the top teeth. Soften down the neck and the shoulders. And then just continue to scan the hips, the spine. I'd like you to stay as long as you'd like. This pose is just as important as all of the hard work. I'm gonna leave you here today. So I just wanna thank you so much for being a part of my practice. Please let me know how it went. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.